So today I have a really important interview and I went to rec I kind of went off topic, but wearing my hair in a style that I'm proud of is going to be really important to me because this, you never know how I'm going to show up. I, I love to wear wigs. Um, I love to do my natural hair, but sometimes I get really lazy and I don't feel like doing it. I actually did this interview one other time last year where I wore a wig. and That I wig gave me reality TV vibes, but... And I wanted to really switch it up so they could see some versatility and, you know, maybe be surprised by what I have in store. In the email, they wrote me some specifications of what I should wear and what I shouldn't wear as far as colors go, so that doesn't clash with the green screen or backdrop, whatever. So I'll show you guys my outfit in a little while and fix my hair up and maybe do a little makeup just so I can look good on camera, but I'll show you that in a second. So specifically, they told me not to wear any stripes, um, big logos or name brands. So in this email, I was told what to wear, what not to wear. They actually said come comfortable, like jeans and t-shirts type stuff. So I'm wearing these overall that I really love. They're so comfortable and mad cute. Um, and then I'm just wearing my Ugg boots. These are like some of the most comfortable and durable Ugg boots I have. I'm not advertising Uggs, but if you're gonna go for a different style, something more like for the actual snow and the winter, like these are a great pair of boots. <laughs> so yeah, my green screen outfit. Let me go do my hair and I'll be back. <laughs> so I didn't have the time to make breakfast but I just made a breakfast shake with a banana, some oatmeal green tea and macaroon I'm going to put y'all on later so because this is an on camera interview I'm going to need all the energy I can get and macaroon is the perfect thing to help with that these are just a few of the benefits macaroon can have I'll include a link in the description box with more info. All right, y'all, so I'm off to my interview. This is, like I said, my second attempt. Um, wish me luck. Hopefully you'll see me on TV next time. So my hair, I just took out those Bantu knots and wore it in a curly afro. I haven't worn my hair like this in a while just because I haven't really been taking care of it, but today was the perfect day to do that. So I just had my interview. It was kind of nerve-wracking, but hey, I'll let you guys know if I got it. So now I'm back in the house. Trying to choose a backdrop for my first videos. I've got this shiny, shimmery, silver thing. And I like this one, but I also love pink. So I have this one too. Which one looks better? Honestly, I haven't eaten since this morning and I'm starting to get hangry. So I looked through the fridge really quick and I found a couple of things and I'm just gonna make a stir fry. Today turned out to be my lucky day because there were all kinds of things in the fridge. I found some red pepper, asparagus, carrots. Um, to make the sauce, I kind of just threw a few things together that I found in the cabinets, like honey. Um, we had some ginger, garlic, a little bit of coriander, sesame oil, um, soy sauce, uh, chili flakes, and... I don't know, whatever else you see here in this video. But it turned out pretty good. There was also some wild rice and quinoa mix that I made to go along with it for a starch. And after this, you know, I was a happy girl again. 
Right here, I'm just cutting off the ends of the asparagus and then cutting it down into about one inch bite-sized pieces to match the size of the peppers. When everything is the same size, it cooks a little bit more uniformly. This here is a little trick I learned in school. Put down a paper towel and peel on top of that. That way you can just pick up the whole paper towel, wipe the board down and throw it away without a mess. So here's all my veggies, and now I'm gonna start making the sauce. I found some chopped garlic, honey. That's gonna make a nice glaze. Some soy sauce. And then this was some dried onion that I found. Red pepper flake coriander and ground ginger mix that all together and there you go it tastes good i said it here i'm just seasoning this fish oh yeah i found salmon so i'm gonna keep it simple salt and pepper and then sear it in a really hot pan so i decided to add this sauce midway the reason i did this is to give the sauce a chance to cook down and stick to the fish without overcooking the fish and creating a watery sauce. I toss all of my vegetables in the same hot pan. Then I add the remaining sauce. I cook the vegetables until they are just tender and then add a mixture of cornstarch and water. This will thicken the sauce. You'll see it go from cloudy to thick and clear. You can check the consistency by rubbing the back of your spoon with your finger. If it leaves a trail, then it's just about right. So this is the end result and I'm about to bust this down. Hey y'all, so. I'm done for the day. I'm just gonna show you my nightly face routine because I have pretty clear skin. Right now I only have one mascara. A lot of people ask me what I do to my face to keep my skin so clear. First things first, water is key. First thing in the morning and last thing before bed. Second key is exfoliating. That is so important. You know I work in the kitchen and there's a lot of grease and smoke that can clog up your pores. So I like to really get in there and exfoliate and so I'm gonna start with this exfoliator. Um, it's like clear, it's actually a baking soda, um, baking soda pore cleanser and it says that it's good for combination skin which can definitely be my skin sometimes. Sometimes it's dry, sometimes it's oily. I like to lather it in my hands with water first. I make sure I get into those edges because I have product on it from like when I do my baby hairs. So you have to really get in there. If not, you can get build up. This warm water because it opens your pores and rinsing it off. I use cold water because it closes it for it. And that's what you need after cleaning and close it for it. That's it, y'all. I'm about to get in the shower. Almost forgot. Don't forget to moisturize. That's the last key, I promise. All right, later.